I'm not even listening. This is just <laughs> so good. good. Today we're going to be making a little mango and pineapple crumble recipe, courtesy of original flavour Craig and Sean. I'm liking what I see here. This looks good. Trust me, you're going to absolutely love this one, Lindsay. We've got all our ingredients from Lidl as well, so super affordable and super easy to make. This is going to be good. It okay. Is. Let's get started. Let's do Let's it. Let's go. First thing, I'm going to get the ginger nuts. So, Lindsay, are you ready to do this? This is a really yeah. easy way yeah. to get the ginger nuts crushed. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to smash these biscuits with this rolling pin. This is going to add a real crunch to the crumble as well. These are also delicious with a cup of tea, trust me. Yeah, ah. trust me. Now to make the rest of the topping, flour and some butter. So this gives it a really nice crumbly texture. So do you guys make this recipe a lot? Yeah, all the time, innit, bro? All yeah, the all time. the time, you know. It's one of those family uh, recipes that are passed down, you know, to our kids now. That's come together. It's time for the sugar and the oats. And then we're going to pour in our ginger mix. Incorporate all that texture, all that mm. flavour together. And that's going to be our crunchy mm. topping. That's going to be great. It even smells good. Yeah. <laughs> OK, what's next? Right, now we've done the topping. Now for the juicy filling. Yes. So this is a bit of a twist on the traditional crumble, isn't it? Definitely. Instead of apples, we're using mango and pineapple, giving it that Caribbean flavour. So 120 ml of orange juice, mango juice as well. And finally, 120 ml of tropical juice for that added zin. Then we're going to go in with the cinnamon. Caribbean, like my brother said, it's all about the spices. Cinnamon is super, super key. One teaspoon, vanilla extract. And we're going to add in the corn flour. Is this just going to kind of thicken it together exactly. as a bit of a yeah, sauce? Then we've got the sugar. And then we're just going to stir it in. So this is like a you know, oven dish, perfect for crumbles. Yeah. Just what we need. Just dash it in. Oh, great. Just dash it That's in. So you say you have to dash it in. Dash it in, sorry. Yeah, dash it in. Don't just, chuck. Yeah, don't chuck. Dash don't it. Don't chuck yeah. it. <laughs> And now we get the juicy filling mix. As soon as it goes in the oven, the juices will just pull apart a bit and make it even thicker. All those oats as well are just wow. going to soak up all the juice, aren't oh, they? Oh, absolutely. OK, we've got the oven preheated. It's at 200 degrees. So yeah. how long does it go in for? Around 45 minutes until you get, like, a ni nice golden crisp at the top. Mm. Bosh. Beautiful. That looks Great, guys. So good, so crumbly. You can see the yeah. juiciness on the sides oh as well. Oh, my gosh. That looks incredible. incredible. Lovely. Wow. Oh, this looks so good. Mm. I'm oh. liking it all. Well, oh, my gosh. This is well. the best crumble I've ever tasted. Wow. Ever tasted. This is so good. 